Hey toy fans, it's been over a year since we did our last collection tour update and a number of people have asked for a new video. We've got a lot of new stuff in the collection, we've got everything from Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, Rambo, Six Million Dollar Man, Action Man, Evil Knievel, all sorts of cool vintage toys. And this will also be the first time that you get to see the extent of my new Action Force collection. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. So get ready for a tour of the Analog Toys collection room. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. All right, the collection tour starts here at the top of the stairs. I've got a box Sky Striker there that I really want to get out of the box and, and hang on the wall up here. But here is some of my DVD collection. I've got a lot more, uh, but they're just kind of my, my favorites there. Let me get round to the G.I. Joe shelf. There's the Rattler that was donated by Joseph. Some of my Cobra troops, some of my Joes. Got the box for the Tomahawk there. And the Tomahawk itself sits above this new cabinet, which I picked up very recently on, um, on eBay. I need to get a light in here. Um, but there is my Kenner Indiana Jones line with an Action Force German Stormtrooper because I think that line should have always come with a German figure. The, uh, the convoy truck, the desert convoy truck, and Indiana Jones on the Arabian horse. The Well of the Souls play set. And then down here, my Temple of Doom collection. Then we move around into the main collection room. We have cabinets on both sides. Lots of cool stuff. Let's start over here. So Mo2 got moved over here recently. I'm just running out of space. So I've got the two main play sets. Um, He-Man and Skeletor there riding their cats. Some of the figures, a couple of the vehicles. We've got some vintage lunch boxes there. And then we come round to the Star Wars collection. I think in the last collection tour on the top of these cabinets, I had a lot of boxes. Um, as in like original vehicle boxes, original toy packaging. I've gotten rid of those, or well not gotten rid of them, I've put them into storage because I wanted to get the loose toys out. So we've got the Death Star playset up here, we've got the B-Wing, we've got an X-Wing, we've got an Atat, and then on the wall, the Millennium Falcon, and the Imperial Troop Transport. Then we move into the cabinets. So some of the uh, figures from the first movie. Moving along. Empire Strikes Back collection. We've got the Bounty Hunters. That's a carded Luke Bespin and Yoda figure there. Uh, this is some of my Smith Lord creation figures, some of my favorites, um, with some of the carded examples there. Moving down to a bit of a Hoth theme here with the Snow Speeder, the Wampa, the Tauntaun, and a few of the characters. Uh, Boba Fett and the Slave One gets his own dedicated shelf. There is the absolutely beautiful um, Darth Vader TIE Fighter that was donated to the channel by Michael from Retroblasting. A few of the Imperial troops. We go down to Jabba and his, uh, his minions, his henchmen. Uh, the Rancor, which I think is just a fantastic toy. A few more Jedi figures. Then a few more Jedi figures and obviously the ATST there. Now, obviously we've got a white X-Wing at the back there, but this is where I've got some of my Black Series figures. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this shelf. Indiana Jones used to be down here, but he's got his own cabinet now. There's the uh, X-Wing pilot helmet from the Black Series that I've collected. And a few of the Hoth figures with the blue TIE fighter at the back. Now, moving up here, a couple of uh, carded Captain Action outfits. Uh, these aren't vintage, these are the play, uh, playing Mantis ones, um, but I'm a particular fan of the Green Hornets, so I wanted to, to display those. Max FX Freddy at the back there. Then we've got the Six Million Dollar Man collection. So a number of loose dressed figures at the top with the um, transport and repair station, and then a number of boxed figures. So we've got the Bionic Man box, Oscar Goldman, the Bionic Woman, Mastertron. Over here, just a few random sort of 12 inch box figures, Inspector Gadget, Mr. T, and the amazing Energized Spider-Man. 
And again, we used to have boxes up here, but now I've got the Savage Strike headquarters out on display on top of this cabinet, which I think in the last tour was a GI Joe cabinet. It's now become a Mego cabinet. So I've pretty much got my Marvel characters on this shelf, my DC characters here, with my removable cow Batman, one of my favorites. And then down here, we have Star Trek and a few other odds and sods. We've got an Action Jackson and Starsky and Hutch there. Now moving on to this, um, this bookcase in the center here. Let's start over here with the Action Force prototypes from Bob Breakin. There's the original metal prototype for the SAS squad leader and a cast resin example uh, with a broken leg and hand. Those two were on display at Toy Fair in January of 1982. Very, very honored to have those in my collection. Down here, we've got some of the, uh, the SAS guys that couldn't fit them all onto one shelf. So they kind of spill over to here with the Wolverine and a few of the other figures. There we have obviously the Robo Skull and the red escape armor. A copy of the Hasbro Snake Battle armor for Cobra. Here we've got some of the Z Force figures. This is kind of the first wave from 1983. You've got Quarrel on the rapid fire motorcycle there, the main battle tank, a few more of the characters, and then the 1984 selection. So there's infamous Gaucho figure, or famous Gaucho figure, and Jammer on the Whirlwind. And here we have the Space Force. So all the Space Force vehicles and characters there. That guy at the back, that's a custom of one of the Special Weapons Force figures, um, which I did a video about a number of years ago. It was an unreleased team for Action Force, the Special Weapons Force. Down here to the Q Force, the smallest team, but with one of the coolest vehicles, the Sea Lion. I love that toy. And here is the rest of the enemy team. Particularly fond of the Kraken, such a cool action figure. And at the back there, a little Easter egg for you, is a Red Shadows, I think a Frag Viper that was donated by Scuba Pete. Okay, down here we've got the Rambo collection. So on this side, we've got the Force of Freedom characters. This side, we've got the Savage characters. You'll notice the loose Nomad is missing. That's because he's actually up in the Strike headquarters up the top. A few boxed vehicles there and a few loose vehicles. Then we have the A-Team collection, both three and three quarter inch and six inch. My only Transformers. A smattering of random items here. So we've got a Mego Muhammad Ali which is actually in a Kenbright box because that's who sold it in Australia. And the mic has a double agent. And then some Indiana Jones items that didn't fit in the other cabinet. Okay, that's pretty much the extent of this side. Now I'll take you around to the Action Man collection, which I think we started with first last time. But here's all of the 60s action soldiers. Love the 1960s stuff, so well detailed. Here are the action pilots, some of the sailors. Then we get to the soldiers of the world. I've got examples here of both Action Man and G.I. Joe. So that's why there's two jungle fighters, two British commandos, two Russian, two German, two French. Then down to the bit of a snow theme here with the ski patrol. Uh, the Polar Explorers, the Mountaineer, etc. And here's my Vintage Joe. So we've got the Action Marines, we've got the Boxed Marine and Soldier at the back, the Foot Locker, um, Air Police, Shore Patrol, and a Box Pilot and Sailor. As up the top there, lots of boxed vehicles and play sets, boxed figures, stuff that I just don't have room to display. The Action Man Sportsman. Not all of them, but a few. Uh, famous British regiments, the British officer, the parachute regiment, and then the ceremonials. So the 17th, 21st Lancers, Blues and Royals, Lifeguards, Royal Hussars. You've got the Argyle there. Love those guys. 
the lights in this cabinet are playing up. I need to get them fixed. But here's just a, a mishmash of, um, of figures. Secret Mission to Dragon Island, the Jungle Explorer, the Red Devil, uh, G.I. Joe Adventure Team. Uh, that was donated by Joseph, that figure, the Land Adventurer, and the Action Man Space Explorer. A few of my favourite box figures, the Eagle Eye figures. We've got Atomic Man, the Helicopter Pilot, the Adventurer, the Sailor, the Soldier, Tom Stone, and then the Germans. So the Escape from Colditz set, some German Stormtroopers, German Staff Officer. Moving along, more box outfits, vehicles. I don't have, just don't have room for all this stuff. There is some mid 70s action man figures, mind detection, commando, dispatch rider, French foreign legion. Now we get to the eagle eyes, the panzer captain, the Luftwaffe pilot, German paratrooper, Africa Corps, long range desert group, Underwater Explorer, Deep Sea Diver, then we got the uh, the Adventure Team, uh, sorry, the Emergency Series. I don't think I had him in the last video, the Crash Crew, Highway Hazard. Um, I can't remember what that yellow guy's name is now. Underground Rescue, High Rescue maybe. Uh, the Police Motorcyclist and Bike, the Fireman, the Medic. Now we've got the SAS guys. All the Space Rangers with ROM. I don't think I had ROM last time. Then some of the special team. And finally down here. Um, what's this? The Basic Soldier, Mountain and Arctic, Battle of Britain Pilot, Parachute Regiment, Royal Marine Commando. Some of the Internationals. Okay, moving along. We've got the Evil Knievel Collection. Probably going to do a live stream on Evil Knievel next week. Uh, I've got the scramble van. I've got a few boxes for these items, but they're in storage. First series action force. I'm looking to complete this collection now and do a video about the first series of action force. My Fisher Price items that I did a video on recently. And the Hasbro re-release of the Kenner Ghostbusters with one original Peter Venkman in the middle. There'll be a video on this coming soon as well. And then some classic collection turtles along with my just some of my SAS books. I've got a lot more than this, but these are my hardcover books that I like to display. Uh, I've got the editing suite here, and then the library. All these books are about toys. So that's the main collection room. One thing that you'll probably notice is that Lone Ranger isn't in here anymore. That's because he's down in the studio. So we're gonna move down to the studio and have a look at the Lone Ranger stuff. So here we are in the studio. I've got the uh, Black Series Snow Speeder there. There'll be a video on that coming soon. Uh, but this is where I obviously sit when I record videos and look into the camera. And straight opposite, there's a hodgepodge of stuff there. But then we have the Lone Ranger collection down here because I'm just running out of room. Uh, Lone Ranger collection, very, very cool. There's the prairie wagon that uh, got broken in an earthquake a couple of years ago. It's now been repaired. Uh, Red Sleeves, one of my favorite figures from the line. Then we've got the Lone Ranger and Tonto with Dan Reed, and one of the stable play sets. Here we've got Dodge City out on display. And up the top, the Legend of the Lone Ranger, the prairie wagon, and the epic Carson City playset that uh, Scuba Pete donated to the channel. I really want to do a video on this, but it needs a little bit of restoration work first. So that'll be a, a bit of a way off just yet. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out our Toy Histories episode where we cover the Lone Ranger toy line, you can click right here. Or to check out our Action Force playlist, you can click right here. I'm Tony from Animal Toys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.